nature. From the beginning of time, the elements of the wild have spawned some of the most amazing and complex creatures and habitats known to the world. Sometimes, though, mysteries arise in nature that cannot be explained. Mythical beings that hide deep in the blues of the ocean or dense in tropical foliage of the forests. Champ, the legendary sea creature hiding in the murky depths of Lake Champlain. Sasquatch, also known as Bigfoot, missing link between man and ape. Nessie, the Loch Ness Monster, peacefully living in its Scottish realm for ages. And now a new creature has arisen, a creature living dangerously close to you and your children, hiding in the murky depths of a typical bathroom in Upper Manhattan. The legend of Tubby dates back almost as far as man has recorded history. Sightings of Tubby have been documented as far back as the 1400s, though descriptions of Tubby seem to vary from sighting to sighting. One fact remains constant, Tubby can be dangerous if provoked. Friday decided that we'd spend a lovely weekend together there. So we went there, and, well, it came to pass that I had to go take a number twosies. So I sat down on the toilet, and my lady came in, and oh boy, she was feeling randy. So she said, hey, don't give that all to the toilet. Why don't you drop some of it right here on my chest? What? So I happened to be walking past the bathroom, doing nothing, nothing dirty at all, and I looked into the tub and saw a creature rippling through the waves. So I ran in and reached my arms into the tub, but by the time that I got there, there was nothing there anymore. However, as I started to give up hope on finding anything, a giant tail slashed across my face and took out my eyes, you see. I have these fake ones in now. But that damn tubby ruined my life. Ruined my life. Despite numerous sightings throughout the ages, no photographic evidence of tubby existed until 1994, when Theodore Tittlemore snapped this now famous photo. Well, we're back round, oh, 12, 15 years ago now. I was just, uh, minding my own business, walking on by to the bedroom, and I happened to glance in, and boy, what I saw was a disturbing sight. Fortunately, I had my camera with me, because I was taking pictures of butterflies. So as I run up to the tub, but by the times I get there, there ain't nobody there no more. I called out, I said, Tubby, Tubby, you come on back now. He didn't come. No, sir did not come, so I doze in after him. The legend of Tubby has grown so popular 
that the scientific community has taken notice. Dr. Derek Izzo, professor of mythology and legend at Hofstra University, is considered the nation's leading expert on the tubby phenomena. Upon examining the photograph that Mr. Tittlemore took, it's really not clear whether or not the photograph is, a, is of some sort of sea creature, as people claim tubby is, or if it's some other sort of item you might find in a bathtub, say a rubber ducky, or perhaps a bar of soap, or a bottle of shampoo. It's really not clear. The, the photo is so grainy, and the, the, it's just hard to say, really. Dr. Izzo knew more proof lay at the bottom of the murky bathtub. Actually, something we did that was very exciting. We sent a team of sonar experts to the tub in question, and they took results. They did sonar readings of the entire tub area, and the results were actually quite interesting what we heard. Despite the startling evidence, there are still tubby skeptics. Frank, what are your thoughts on tubby? My thoughts on tubby. Tubby, the tub monster. Mm hmm. The large, perhaps 60 foot long sea creature living in a bathtub. Mm hmm. I'm going to go ahead and say it's not real. Interesting. What about the proof? The photographic evidence? The photographic evidence? Uh, are, are you all retarded? It's obviously an arm coming out of a bathtub. A, what? What? There have been numerous sightings of this tub monster over the past hundred years. How do you explain that? Listen. There is no sea creature living in that bathtub. No, 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 not one there. Have you ever seen Tubby? favorite tubby story. I'm done. I'm... Washington Heights, the majestic crown of Manhattan. Is it the home of a mythical aquatic creature dwelling in the depths of a bathtub? Or is it something else in the hazy photograph that has simply been mistaken by the imperfect eye of man? If tubby does exist, is he our friend? or vicious foe. Either way, the mere suggestion of the existence of Tubby has to force one to be cautious and think twice before stepping into the murky unknown.